So what's up? Got my man Doug Panther with me. This is, this is history. This is a classic. We about to get it in right now. All right, so first off, I want to say this, man. Congratulations, because you've been overall in this industry, like, for so many years doing your thing. And now we got something amazing to talk about, which is Young Justice. All right, so first off, what led you to this project? You know what I'm saying? Like, how did this all come about for you? That, that's, a, that's a great question and a great place to begin. Young Justice is a fantastic show on Cartoon Network and it's really resonated with the fans. And the reason why is the writing of that show is so good. It's, mm. it's like nothing else we've ever seen in this space. So we partnered with Greg and Brandon, who are the writers of the shows and the creators of the shows, and they wrote an original story for our game. So if you're a fan of Young Justice, you know that season one happened, then season two happened, and then there was a five-year gap in the universe in between. Wow. And fans went, wait a minute, what happened? These characters got older, all these things happened, we don't know what happened, our game happened. And so our oh, game is crazy. right in that gap. And uh, again, working with Brandon and, and Greg, on an original story, it made this game so much different than a eh, watch the show, play the show type of experience. Mm -hmm. This is a true transmedia where you watch the show and then you play a very important part of the show that you can't get anywhere else. Now, about the show, because uh, I'm going to tell you something right now. Because your game seems to be like the transcending into what could be like another season of the show like what made the show stop like you know what i'm saying like like what caused all of that because to me it sound like um the show would be out the same time the game would be out but it seemed like that's not happening so you know what happened with the actual show and does this game is, is this game like a bridge to bring the actual show back as well what's up you know, another great question, and honestly, it, it, when, it, when it didn't show up on the, uh, the DC block, it was a big surprise to everybody, all of us, Warner, DC, okay. everybody. So, you know, those decisions are made by, I don't know who, but we have, seen an, we have seen an amazing fan outcry going, what are you doing taking away this show? But I will say, you know, that, that, that Greg and Brandon, the producers and writers of the show, they still are very deeply invested in Young Justice. They know where they want to take this universe and, and, and all these story arcs. I, I, I think if, um, you know, the right distribution mm -hmm. partner comes up, you never say never. I mean, I guess the classic okay. example is, is look what happened to Arrested Development. That thing went away. Fans, a huge outcry, and now it's back on on on, a, on Netflix. So you never say never, especially especially okay. in this world. I respect that. Now, when I gotta ask you this question, because I get so many different answers from different people when it comes to yeah. like comic book characters. You know what I'm saying? So when you're dealing with superhero characters, what is the hardest? What's the hardest um, achievement that you guys are trying to like pull out of these characters? Because you got so many fans that sensitive you know, about their characters. So what about the story in Young Justice and the way you represent these characters in the game? How does that all like come to fruition to make sure that consumers is gonna enjoy it as well? Not just when they look at it, but also when they play it and get a chance to get that story filled. You know, you couldn't be more right on. I mean, that's a great <laughs> question. And so what we've done, again, I've already talked about working with the actual writers of the show. We didn't hire somebody else. We're not do doing something. We're working with Greg and Brandon. So those characters' voices are going to be true and identify. I mean, we That's even even Greg about. said this is canon to the Young Justice universe. All these things are important. The other factor, speaking of voices, we have all the character voices from the show in our game as well. So that continuity Classic. is there. So we've got, you know, the the words are actually written by the guys that created the show, that love the show, that 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 know the show back and forth, and then the voice actors who who, who give life to these characters. Mm. Now. I got something for you, and to me, I think this is going to be real interesting. Now, I'm not sure if this is true, but this is something that I heard, right? But in terms of the characters you can pick in this game, is it true that you can't pick the villains? You can only pick the superheroes? So, in, in the game, in our game, what you do, it's, it's you, you choose your team. So you have okay. teams of three, and we, we allow you to, to mix and match depending on what you want. When you, when you first start the game, I think you have five characters to select through. You'll unlock more okay. for a total of 12 that you ch choose from. And then we have four more that will be DLC. Oh, now, the villains, okay. you're going to come across the villains. So the villains aren't playable, but you're definitely going to battle them. So we got all the best from the DC 
Riddler's in there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Riddler. No, no I. Yeah, the uh, uh, Lex Luthor. All, all the, all the great Banes in there. All the great uh, villains that you see from the show, from the, that DC universe, they make an appearance too. And we've got a great surprise at the end too that we. Keeping, keeping oh, that close. You might have to talk off camera, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? To get that extra <laughs> surprise in there. Like, or you know I like to get the exclusive, kid. Okay? All right. So now, uh, so now I'm a, um, I, I got a zinger for you real quick. Uh, cause I like starting controversy. I like starting stuff. So, um, my thing is, to me, it sounds like depending on the success of this game, do you think that there will be room for growth with a DLC or like a whole nother story add on where you can be? the actual villains the reason why i say that is because it's been requested like so much that i think you guys are just be throwing away money if you guys don't like really focus on bringing that in depending on the success of the first launch of this game you know what i'm saying so to me i really think it's something that you guys uh would focus on have you guys at least spoke about it or talked about what it could be like you know had any those type of discussions came up so we're giving you 16 different playable characters, and that's not enough for you? <laughs> I no. love it. So, no, hey, it's a great idea. We've got some great developers, and like I said, okay. Brandon and Greg, they have so many great ideas. Let's throw it in the hopper. Let's see what pops out. All right, cool. That's what I'm, the I love it. Part of. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now. And we'll give you credit for the idea, because, hey. So that, that's all you had to do. I'm put, put my feet up right now. Just chill. Like, <laughs> yo, I appreciate that, man. Seriously, I love the energy. Now... We got to get down to the gameplay, son, because that's like yeah. the heart of it. So now with the gameplay, with all these characters and all these superpowers, like I know a lot of times when, you know, they, they could be like a meter on how much power you can use. Like there's so many, so many different ways to use and harness all the powers of these different characters. What's your vision? Like what what did you guys uh, put, put together? Because when I first saw it and the look of it, it made me think about one of your rivals, which is Marvel Ultimate Alliance. And then right. you think about that hard, and I love that game too, don't get me wrong. Right. But when I saw your game, okay, graphics look better, you know what I'm saying? It seems like there's, like, it's more up to date, you know, with what we see now. Right. So how are you utilizing, like, the powers, and how are you making the gameplay special? Uh, question. So again, squad base, like you said, good reference with Marvel Alliance. So you take your team of three in there, and there's, there's it, it's RPG light is what I like to call okay, it. Okay, okay. A heavy attack, you have a light attack, those are kind of your hand-to-hand -hand combats. And then every character, all the superheroes, they have special attacks. And depending on how you like to attack or what you play, you can do superhero um, attacks that are based on your character. Okay. And again, like you said, there's meters, so depending on what those attacks are, some are going to take a lot of energy, some are going to take a little. So you got to think about it, how you go into whatever combat situation it is, and you got to be smart about it. So, um, and depending on the makeup of your team, so there's a lot of thinking and a lot of planning that goes into it, yeah. and, and you want to do it right. And there's also, like you said, the energy meter, there is also a nice team uh, energy meter as well. So if you build up all three of your teammates at the same yeah. time and you fill up that meter, you can unleash this this superhero squad attack that really will take out the room. And it, that was it actually going to be my next, yo, Doug. Real talk, son. Real talk. That was going to be my next question. Yeah. Do they have like like some sort of power where they come together, like some form like Voltron, and boom, yeah. and kill everything? Like now, that's crazy. That's right. Now, do, do well. I mean, teamwork is a big big theme in the show, so we wanted to incorporate that in the well. And so, with that attack, is a great way to do it. All right, now, I'm not sure if you guys have this in your game, but I'm going to tell you right now, and this question right here is actually inspired by, like, my nephews and just a lot of, you know, kids in general. But, like, I remember when I was younger, right? And I'll tell you straight up, I used to be Batman, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I used to be Superman, like, running around right. as a kid, dressing up as them, wanting to beat them, but also adding my own personal touches to if I was really Superman, what would I do? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, different right. from what you see on TV. So... It, will there be some sort of like customization like in this game because I feel that like with a game like this with all these heroes together no matter even though you're playing as them it'll be amazing if you could have some sort of like personal you know feel or some sort of personal creation or add-on that where you can make that superhero more of yours so if so somebody else see it it's like okay that's hip-hop gamers version of this superhero that we know and love. Have you guys thought about anything like that or did you put it in the game?